plus go on for Javi Lopez. Lopez up the middle. The ex brave Jeff Blauser, the diving play, 6 4 and 3. Denny Nagel making the start. We flash back to June 27, 1995. Nagel, a grand slam for the Pirates. That was against the Cubs. Now, how many times do you see it? A guy hits a grand slam on June 27th, 1995. Then he pitches tonight. The third base is loaded for the Cubs pitcher, Kevin Tappany. Tappany off a of Nagel grand slam. First homer ever, and it's a big one. 5 nothing. the Cubs are just... I like got reached out and pulled it over. 5 nothing. Top of four, 6 nothing. Cubs. Blauser against Nagel. There's a drive. There's a drive. Three-run homer, second of the year. 9 nothing. Cubs. And winning this thing by a count of 11 to 4. So the Cubs have now beaten the Braves four straight times. Tappany was the seventh Cubs pitcher to hit a grand slam. The Big Mac in the house. Vaughn wasted no time busting out the whooping stick. First at bat in the second inning, 433 foot blast off of Matt Morris. Number 35 for Vaughn. We're tied at one. Top of the third, Royce Clayton is in business to do business. A nice barehanded catch by the fan. Number four on the year, Clayton also tripled off the wall, two on cards. McGuire second at bat, single in his first at bat, goes the other way with the McGuire shift on, not a Padre in sight. McGuire had three singles on the night, two opposite field, but in the fifth inning with Brian Boehringer in, in search of home run number 43, he got it. 458 feet, a two-run shot, number 43 on the year, 6-1 St. Louis. Here's what's so special about this McGuire Maris chase. Every person in the park will remember this special moment, number 43. They were personally witness to this. Same goes for McGuire's son and the Bat Boy father son thing. How good is that? 13 to 1 is your final McGuire. A four hit night ties at Dick Park. Bottom of the first, runners on first and second for Barry Bonds. Base hit. Stan Javier, Chris Jones come on down. Bonds doubles off of Omar Dahl. Giants take a 2 0 lead. It's 3 0 in the top of the second. Kelly Stinnett, base hit. Dave DeLucci scores to make it 3 1. Jay Bell runs through the stop sign at third, and Chris Jones tells him those who are late do not get fruit cup. And after that game of chicken, Brian Johnson finally tags him out. Russ Ortiz, impressive in his first major league start. Danny Clawson swinging and the third, the fourth inning. Jay Bell. Swinging and the fourth, Ortiz struck out seven in the first four innings, but in the sixth inning of a 3-2 game against Kareem Garcia, Ortiz hangs one. And that'll wrap that one up. Garcia's fifth home run, we're tied at three, one of just three Diamondback hits off of Ortiz. Bottom of the eighth, one on for J.T. Snow, and he takes Bobby Chouinard deep and gone for your eventual game winner. 11th home run for Snow gives the Giants a 5-3 lead that they will preserve for the final. Travis Lee went 0 for 3. He's Ten left fielders this year, more than any position on any team. The 10th, Matt Luke, one homer Saturday, two more Sunday. Says Luke, very Luke Skywalker-ish. All I'm doing is making so a solid swing and concentrating on hitting the ball. I'm not trying to hit home runs. <laughs> yeah, and a big guy in black armor with a German soldier-style helmet is your dad. Dodgers hosting Cincinnati. Trevor Hoffman. Looking for the win. Bottom three, no score. Wilton Guerrero loops one to right. Brett Boone back. Why was he an all-star? Why is he maybe the best defensive second baseman in the National League? That's why. His dad, eh, just another day for my kid. Bottom four, no score. Raul Mondesi versus Paris. Broken bat fly ball out toward left center. Dimitri Young, Reggie Sanders both charging. And Reggie Laverne Sanders holds on. Reggie making up for an 0 for 4 day at the plate. Willie Green. Grounder up the middle. Wilton Guerrero can't hold on. Juan Castro, nice spin. Castro making up for an 0 for 3 day at the plate. Great defense. Bottom seven, no score. Two on, two out. Adrian Beltre representing the line drive to left. Mondesi comes around to score. Beltre, just a 217 hitter, gets just his seventh RBI this year. Top nine, Dodgers up two zip. Jeff Shaw brought in to face his old team after Darren Dryford allowed just one hit. Said Dryford, it's a save situation. We've got the best closure in the NL. That's why we run him out. Nieves, Sanders, Casey, you'll take that and you'll like it. Dodgers win it two zip. Darren Dreifert gets the win, a one hit shutout. Jeff Shaw, his third save with LA. Shaw has retired 18 of 20 batters faced since being acquired by the Dodgers. Cincinnati's 10 game road winning streak is now over. It's their longest since 1957. Monday night, we pick it up, bottom of the eighth, tied at three, bases loaded. Doug Brocale trying to get out of the jam, entices Chad Curtis to ground out. And end the threat, Joe Torrey would see plenty of this on the evening. Opportunity lost. Bottom of the 10th, 
Still tied at three. Chuck Knobloch facing Doug Jones to right field. Bobby Higginson is there. Snares the bullet. Yankees strand three more. Sit down. This one's still going on. Bottom of the 12th. Base is loaded again. And Derek Jeter at the plate. He will test Higginson again. Higginson is there. And we stay tied. Doug Cohn. Uh, David Cohn and Andy Pettit looking a little tired. In the 14th, bases loaded again. Jorge Posada up. Jeter is 90 feet away from ending this marathon. Brian Hunter makes the grab. Buddy Bell's happy. Tigers, rally caps. Homer Bush, bushed. Top of the 17th. Luis Gonzalez at second. Joe Renda. Off Darren Holmes. Gonzalez scores. Tigers take a 4-3 lead. We move to the bottom of the 17th. A runner aboard for Paul O'Neill. Six, four, three, ball game. Tigers win it four to three in 17 innings. This was the longest game for both teams in. Game hero Joe Randa still playing in game two. Luis Yankees Soho. up one nothing. Bottom of the fourth, two men on, two outs. Luis Soho, base hit. Chad Curtis come on down, two nothing Yanks. Same inning. Derek Jeter at the plate. Men at second and third. For Jeter, grounds to Randa, bobbles it. Jeter hustles and is safe. Dale Swam scores three nothing Yanks. Next batter, Paul O'Neill. Base hit past Bryce Flory. Soho scores four nothing Yanks. Top of the fifth, Hideki Arabu in trouble. Men on first and second. Yankees need Arabu to eat up innings. And he eats up Bobby Higginson. Joe Torre checking the watch. Yeah, it's getting late. Top of the eighth, a man on for Higginson. Arabu, yeah! <laughs> Upper deck shot, 19th of the season, 4-3 Yanks. Top of the ninth, that's a score, two outs. Mariano Rivera gets Brian Hunter to ground out. He went 0 for 13 in the doubleheader. That's a major league record. This woman was bald when the doubleheader started. The American League lifted its 1 a.m. curfew for this game, and that's a good thing. A female acquaintance of Bell said she was pushed and shoved by him, and he had done damage to her residence. Bell must appear in court again on August 10th. Bell, however, did not appear in the White Sox team photo slated for Monday, but he was in the lineup for the series finale against his former club and had some problems in the field. Top of the third, no score, Kenny Lofton to his former teammate. And Bell looked like he had it. Hit off the heel of his glove. Lofton would later score on an Omar V. Skell sack fly and scored a three-base error. Top four, White Sox up 3-2. More problems for Bell. This time it's Mark Whitten. To left center, to Bell left and center Mike field. Cameron having problems. Get there? No. Miscommunication. Travis Fryman right. scores with tight at three. So Bell says, all right, get me out of the he field and I'll help you at the plate. Cleveland up 5-3, bottom of the sixth. And here comes Albert. Gone. 29th on the year. Redemption against Bartolo Colon. White Sox down 5-4. Top eight, Indians up 5-4. Brian Giles to second, Ray Durham. Full extension and gets his man. Bottom eight. Indians still up 5-4. White Sox with two men aboard. Paul Ostenmacher, the lefty-lefty matchup against Robin Ventura. And he lives to tell about it. Ends the threat. The Indians win it by the final of 5-4. Cologne throwing upwards of 98 miles per hour. Right against Carl Everett. Curtis Goodwin in center field after it. Can't get it. Jeff Bagwell come to score. He then calls for Alou to come in sliding. And good move because he avoids the tag with that move. A lose safe. Astros up 7-1. Dante Bichette at bat. Two on, two out. Going to right center. Into the vacancy. No, actually, it's right at a player. Curtis Goodwin comes. Rockies down 8-5. The next batter, Vinny Castilla. Oh. Into left field. Two runs will score. Double for Castilla. Larry Walker and Bichette come to score. Rocks down 8-7. And Shane Reynolds gets the hook. Ninth inning, Rockies down 9-7. Bichette, he has reached the 18 to 39-year-old target audience. A two-run dong, his 14th, tied at nine. Bottom of nine, runners in the corners. Bogar, the liner base hit. Carl Everett coming in, and the Astros win it. 10-9, and had I practiced it, I would have been more dramatic.
Hernandez, do you want to play with fire, Scarecrow? 22nd on the year, three-run homer. Milwaukee's take to a 4-0 lead top of the first. Brewers pitcher Scott Carl, a victim of bad defense. Bottom of the third, Mike Redmond to Jeff Cirillo. Bases loaded, Dave Nielsen. Mark Kotze has his fly ball dropped by Nielsen. Redmond scores 5-1 Brewers. Next batter, Todd Zeal. Base knock, passed. Fernando Vina, two-run score. It's now 5-3 Milwaukee. As for great defense, turn your attention to Edgar Renteria. Oh, got the force out. Although, look at it again. And I'm surprised because the pitcher threw his glove at the ball. They let this one stand. Defense not enough. Brewers win it by the final of 5-3. Against Francisco Cordova. Vamanos. Top of the second, one on for Aramis one Ramirez against Masato Yoshi. Hi! Fifth of the year. Pirates up top, 2-0. Bottom of three, two on for Todd Hundley. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Struck out all three times in his first three at-bats. Pirates looking for more in the fifth. Jason Kendall to McCray. He's coming up. Hosen after Collier at the plate. Got him. Mets down 2-1. to one. Top of the eighth, Tony Womack's on first, Jason Kendall at the bat. We do show stolen bases. League leading 37th of the year. He's fast. Same at bat for Kendall. Rips it over to first. Olerud can't hang on. Into the outfield, Womax will come in and score. Not Womax, but it's Womax run, possessive. 3-1, and that is your final for pitching tonight. Carlos Perez in a duel with Schilling, facing Schilling in the fifth. Two on, two out, no score. Now there is. Schilling goes to right. Mike Lieberthal come to score. Schilling's third rib of the year. It's one nothing. Phils. Top of the sixth. Perez against Greg Jeffries. One on, two out. Shane Andrews, good stop. Less good throw. Scott Rowland will come to score. Air on Andrews. Two nothing. Phils. Next batter, Mark Lieberthal. Takes it to center. Rondell White's after it. Had it, dropped it. Three nothing feels. Look again, White with the Expo's 105th error of the year and had to leave the game for x rays. The extent of the injury unknown. Schilling to Roberto Perez. Trees were killed for that bat. Schilling struck out nine in his league leading 10th complete game.